My name is Greg Roper. I am the product manager for Taylor Hobson's Surface Finish Instruments. Today I'm going to give you a general overview of the PGI Novus. This is our flagship surface, form and contour instrument. And then I'm going to focus a little bit more on the newly released Metrology 4 software. PGI Novus is the world leading profilometer and offers the lowest noise floor system on the market. They come with two anti-vibration mounts, passive and active. This one here being the active vibration model. The instrument boasts the largest calibrated um, gauge range and is available in single bias where we measure in the lower direction and in dual bias where we measure upside down. This gives us the capability of quantifying part diameter. This particular system is a dual bias system with a 200 millimeter Travis unit, 700 millimeter high precision column and we currently have it with the instrument surround and the Y stage capability for measuring 3D. The software is split into three main areas. They are the instrument view for control, for movement, for calibration and also programming. The analysis view where we can analyze for contour, for 2D, and for 3D. This can also consist of numerous documents on the screen and multiple page documents. And finally, the production interface where we can apply automation, simplify the control and automatically output the data for statistical analysis. This example where we're showing here is for the measurement of multiple parts at different sites. The software works better with multiple screens. This allows the user to customize the view and to start to move areas of the software around the system. This makes it easier to see and easier to operate. These can also be recorded and saved as multiple layouts. And by clicking areas of the software, I can redistribute the software into the recorded format. For example, if I was recording a program, I could put it into programming mode and display the programming window. And in this example, emphasis on the gauge icon as well. Moving back to the instrument view, we can see the software is split into distinct areas. The instrument ribbon at the top of the screen, which is then split into positioning, gauge calibration, the instrument view and zoom area, programming and any macro buttons. The measurement toolbar is on the left and then this one includes 2D X measurement automatic measurement, discontinuous measurement, and also 3D. And on the right hand side is the instrument control. We can also pin any of these windows and resize them however we want the instrument to look. And in the middle of the screen, you'll be able to see the virtual instrument. This is a real time measurement so any measurements that we take will appear in this view here and will also appear where the part is actually physically being measured. If I move the instrument using the joystick, you'll be able to see that the physical instrument will move and also the virtual instrument. On the Y stage we have at the moment is a 3D model of the artifacts that are currently physically on the instrument. The Form TallySurf system now has a coordinate system and I know exactly where the stylus tip position is. On the palette shown, we have moved the coordinates to a reference ball that's actually on the fixture. And therefore I know exactly where the fixture is 
in relation to the stylus tip. When we load other PCS points into the system, you'll see now I have the five positions of where we start the measurement using the palette interface. We can then click onto any of the PCS points and view the stylus path of which the instrument will take when I select to move to this point. This is called Smart Move, and you can see that when I highlight over the PCS point, it will show that stylus path. If I click on it, it will then move to that point exactly, and we'll be able to see that physically on the instrument and on the virtual instrument as well. At this point, I am now looking at purely the virtual system and the virtual instrument and not actually looking at the physical instrument.